Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with the Windows blue screen error interrupt exception not handled. And this would occur on Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by just opening up the search menu, type in regedit, best result, check on back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name and recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you would have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now, now that that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for WOW 6432 node. Double click on that. Should be a creative tech folder in here. Double click on it. And then locate the software installed folder. Double click on it. Should be an APOIM folder in here or key. You want to go ahead and right click on that APOIM key and select delete, select yes. And now you want to go underneath the installation key, double click on it, double click on CTREDIST. And then there should be another APOIM key in here as well. Right click on it and then select the delete, select the yes. And now at this point, go ahead and close out of here. And we will need to restart our computer in order for the change to take effect. So let's just go ahead and restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.